One indicator, three strategies. Strategy number one, catching pullbacks within bullish and bearish trends. Strategy number two, using a buy sell indicator paired with this trend indicator to take long and short positions. Strategy number three, catching bullish and bearish trend reversals right as they happen. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this indicator, when compared to the moving average or most of the other trend indicators out there, this one is better because it's packed with super useful features and functionalities. And in this video, we're gonna go over exactly what it is. Let's get into it. Now, to get started with this indicator, you want to go to trading view and then open any trading security that you like in any time frame. For me, I'm going to be using the 15 minute time frame of your USD. Next, you want to click on indicators and type in periodical trend. And it's going to bid this one by Big Beluga. The periodical trend indicator is a multifaceted trading tool designed for analyzing market trend, volatility, and price deviations from the mean. Let's go over its components. First of all, we have the trend line, which is this line in the center that changes color between green and blue. Green is for bullish trends and blue is for bearish trends. Now, looking at this indicator, you can also see extra lines at the top and bottom of the trend line. These are called volatility bands and they're used to detect the volatility volatility of the market. This is the upper volatility band and this is the lower one. Now, during transitions between bullish and bearish trends, the indicator is going to print these up and down arrows to indicate these transitions. Next, we have this oscillator at the bottom. Well, this is a trend meter that gauges the market's overall trend strength. It's basically a mirror of the trend line. As you can see, whenever the trend line is green, the same is reflected on the oscillator. Conversely, if the trend line is blue, the oscillator is also gonna be colored blue. This trend meter can actually be used on its own if you only wanted to use this indicator for trend analysis. You can actually disable everything overlaid on the chart in the settings, so you're only left with the trend meter. Now, beside the trend meter, we also have a label that's here to remind you whatever trend you're in. So if it's a bullish trend, it's gonna say trend up. If it's bearish, it's gonna say trend down. Now, looking at the settings of this indicator, we can see that we have the period, which defines the calculation length of the indicator. For our strategy, I'm gonna change this to 55. The width is just the thickness of the trend line. I'm gonna leave it at the default value of two. Now, right here we have the mode. As you can see, we have two options, normal for general analysis and sensitive, which makes the indicator extra sensitive to price changes and it's useful for strategies like mean reversion. Now, down here we have options that we can toggle on and off. The first one is volatility bands. If we disable it, you can see what they represent. I'm gonna enable that. The price deviation changes the trend meter into an oscillator, which is actually going to be useful for main reversion strategies, as you're going to see later in the video, so stick around. And then we have main reversion and strong main reversion. As you can see, there are these dots that are printed on the chart. What they do is they indicate instances where the price deviates too far from the trend line. So like right here, the price went too far up away from the trend line and a main reversion signal was printed. The same thing happened here. The price deviated too far down away from the trend line and a main reversion signal was printed. Now we have two types of main reversion signals as you can see in the settings we have main reversion which are these dark and faint colored dots they're basically weak main reversion signals they're going to be printed whenever the price deviates just a little bit away from the trend line but then we have the strong main reversion signals. These are the bigger dots, also bright colored, so they're easily visible. These are the ones you wanna trade with because they only happen after the price has deviated significantly away from the trend line. We can also change the colors of this indicator down here. The style tab has several customizable options that we can toggle on and off. For our first strategy, we're not gonna be using the trend meter, so I'm just gonna go back into the settings and disable the background color option. After that, click OK. Now, let's talk about our first strategy, which is trading pullbacks within bullish and bearish trends. Now, I know you may be thinking, but how can we do that? 
Well, let's go over the conditions for taking a long position. First, you want to confirm that the trend of the market is bullish. That is going to be indicated by having a green trend line like this with the price trading above it. Condition number two. We want to confirm the pullback. A pullback is going to be indicated by having the price coming all the way back down and touching the upper volatility band, this one, or it can even close under it as long as it doesn't close under the line in the middle. Once we have the pullback, we need to wait for a bullish engulfing candle like this one before we take a long position. And of course, for a short position, you just do the opposite. Now for our second strategy, which is adding a buy sell indicator and then combining it with the trend meter to take long and short positions, we need to double click on the indicator and then on the inputs tab, you want to disable the volatility bands, disable the mean reversion and strong mean reversion options. Also make sure the price deviation option is disabled. So we're only going to be left with the trend meter on this tile tab. I'm going to disable the first plot option and I'm also going to disable the labels option and then click OK. Open the indicator search tab and the buy sell indicator we're going to add is this one called Pine Trades Market Beacon, which is our own custom indicator in partnership with Chart Prime. They actually have massive discounts right now because of the holidays. I'm going to put this link in the video description, which is going to take you directly to this page where you can quickly get access to the indicators. Also, you're going to get access to every single one of the Chart Prime premium indicators and not just the Pine Trades Market Beacon, all at discounted prices. The Pine Trades Market Beacon uses price action concepts to print super accurate long and short signals and we're going to align them with the trend of the market to take trades. A good example of a long position would be something like this. You have a long signal that is happening within a bullish trend. But how do we know the trend of the market is bullish? Well, by looking at this trend meter and you can see it's bright green. This indicates the trend is bullish. Now, an additional confluence besides the trend and the long signal is to make sure you have a little bit of price action, maybe something like support and resistance or breaks and retests. Right here, we can see that we had a strong resistance level, which which was created and retested several times by the price. And eventually during this long signal, the price actually broke and closed above the level, which tells you that it's probably ready to go up. So you take a long position, put your stop loss under the resistance level, targeting 1.5 times the risk, letting the trade run. And it was profitable. And of course, for a short position, you just flip all the conditions that we used for the long position. So basically, instead of looking for a long signal, you're going to be looking for a short signal. Instead of looking for a green trend ribbon, you're going to be looking for a blue trend ribbon. And then instead of looking for a resistance level being broken, you're going to be looking for a support level being broken by the price. Simple. Now, the final strategy using this indicator is trading based on mean reversion or trend reversals. Let me show you. First of all, we need to delete the PT market beacon indicator. And then we need to add another indicator known as support and resistance levels with breaks. This one by Lux Algo. Double click on it. And then on the input tab, you want to change the right bars value to four on this tile tab, change the resistance color to green and the support color to red. This indicator prints these swing highs and lows and it prints horizontal lines, which are going to be useful for our strategies. Next, you want to access the settings of the periodical trend indicator. And then on the input tab, you want to activate the volatility band, activate the strong mean reversion signals. Also the mode, you want to change it to sensitive. You also want to activate the price deviation option because it's going to be useful for identifying divergences. After that, click OK. So how do we take a long trade? Well, the first option is going to be to identify a bullish divergence. Now, you may be thinking using this indicator, how do we identify a bullish divergence? Well, it's really simple. There needs to be a discrepancy between this oscillator and the price. Right here, we can see that the price is clearly headed downwards. But looking at the periodical trend, we can see that this oscillator, instead of heading down, just like the price, it's actually headed upwards. This discrepancy indicates a bullish divergence.
Condition number two is that during this divergence, we need a strong mean reversion signal to be printed anywhere within the divergence. It could be at the beginning of it, it could be towards the end of it. As long as it's a strong mean reversion signal, then we will be okay. That is actually going to be a green dot just like this one. Then lastly, to confirm that the price will actually go upwards, we need to identify the most recent swing high as indicated by the support and resistance indicator. Right here, we can see that this green line depicts our most recent swing high. We need the price to break and close above this level for us to take a long position. So we enter a long trade here. The stop loss can be set leveled with the most recent swing low, which is this one. The take profit is going to be set at 1.5 times the risk, letting it run. And it was profitable. Now here's a short position. The price was heading upwards and looking at this oscillator, it was actually heading downwards. Now, during this divergence, we also had a bearish mean reversion signal, which indicates that the price is most likely to go downwards. Next, we identify the most recent swing low, which is indicated by a red horizontal level. And then we need the price to break and close under it to confirm that after the divergence, the price may go down. Right here, the price broke and closed under the level, so we take a short position. The stop loss is going to go right at the most recent swing high. The take profit is going to be set at 1.5 times the risk, letting the trade run. And the trade was profitable. Disclaimer, the strategies showcased in this video are not complete trading strategies because they primarily rely on indicators without incorporating key elements like price action, market structure, or discretionary confluences, all of which are crucial for consistent profitability. This means that these strategies may perform well for some time and then perform poorly at other times. It's essential to add your own confluences or incorporate these indicators into an existing strategy to enhance your your trading approach. That's been it for this video. I really hope you found some value. If you did, remember to leave a like or even consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.